Traditionally, Sikh kebab are made with seasoned minced meat and cooked in a tandoor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a vegetarian Sikh kebab on a tawa. Vegetables like potato, green peas, carrot, paneer are mixed together with all spices and made into beautiful Sikh kebabs that are luscious and delicious. Let's look at the ingredients we require to make the Sikh kebabs. To begin with, we'll require four to five potatoes that have been boiled, peeled and then grated. Next, I have half a cup of green peas that were boiled and lightly mashed. Same thing with carrots. I grated them and boiled them as well. I'll require about two to three tablespoons of coriander leaves, a fourth of a cup paneer that has been grated. Now I have two tablespoons of besan that has been lightly roasted. In the spices, I'll require red chili powder, about a fourth of a teaspoon, haldi powder, a fourth of a teaspoon, salt to taste, chaat masala, two teaspoons, one teaspoon each of ginger and garlic paste, and finally, a little bit of garam masala. Let's start by making the sikh kebab mix. So in goes our potatoes. Just spread it out. Next, we're going to add our two tablespoon of besan that has been roasted. It's very essential that you roast this because if you roast it, it doesn't give a raw flavor when the sikh kebabs are made. Next, the peas. Carrots, a little bit of the ginger paste, garlic paste, paneer, garam masala, red chili powder. Now it's up to you how spicy or mild you like this. A fourth of a teaspoon haldi. Chaat masala and salt. Remember, chaat masala also has some salt in it, black salt. So just be judicious. Mix this in and finally our coriander leaves. Just mix all of this together. Make sure the spices are incorporated. Just mix it together and make sure that you're able to make a patty with it. When, when you can see this happens, you know it's ready. To begin with, we're going to heat our pan and make sure it comes to a nice medium hot. In the meanwhile, I take the potatoes and roll them into patties or sausages that are about four inches long. And then I'm going to just skewer it right through the middle. And I'm just going to make sure that it sticks You don't have to be perfect, but just make sure that they are even. And then place them here. And once the pan is hot, you need to add about two to three teaspoons. Now you could do this in the oven or you could even deep fry it. Gently place it on the pan. Make sure that the Sikh kebabs are sticking to the skewers. Now, if you don't have skewers, no problem. You can make them into smaller tikkis, round ones, and you could make it that way as well. This just looks really fancy. And this is traditionally how the Sikh kebab is made in a tandoor. Now, here's, you lower the temperature and just let this sit for about two to three minutes and then we will turn it. As you can see, the sea have turned beautiful golden brown. At this point, we're going to brush it with a little ghee on top. And then sprinkle it with some chaat masala. You could also add black salt if you don't have chaat masala. And then gently just lift them up and place them on your platter. The kebabs are now ready. Serve it along with some lime that has been sliced, a little bit of chutney and some onion. Now cut them into rings and just place them 
tastes really good if you can cook it on a grill or a tandoor or even bake it in the oven. But if not, the tawa works just fine. Just make sure that you make a lot because everybody is going to love it. Mm -hmm.